Let's take a look at an open delta transformer. Now, your typical uh, transformer for a three-phase uh, in North America here is set up like this. You'll have a delta-delta transformer bank. You'll see three separate transformers on a, on a pole. And uh, you'll have your A, B, and C phase. And each phase is uh, they're 120 degrees apart. And you get your three-phase power that way. To find your, your, uh, your wattage or your VA, you take the uh, square root of 3, which is 1.73 times the, the uh, phase voltage times the phase current. And of course, you put in your power factor there. Or you can take just three times the line uh, voltage times the line current. Now, the, the voltage in the phase and the voltage in the line are the same. So here it is here. This is just a simple diagram of this delta, and that's why we call it a delta system. Now, if your phase current here in the coil happens to be 10 amps, then you take 10 times the uh, 1.73, and you get 17.3 amps on your line here. Okay, now what happens if uh, one of these transformers burns up? We lose one of them. You got to take take it out of the, the line here. We still have our A, B, and C here. We still have our three phases, but it's now we have this system down here. And our now now our phase current and our line current are going to be the same. These don't add up to to make our uh, 17 volt uh, amps anymore. But we have A, B, and C here. Now. How do we get our three phases out of here? So, say we have um, from A to B here, we have our phase here that's at zero degrees, and then we're missing our this phase over here, which would be at 120 degrees, and then this phase down here, we have that one that's going to be at uh, 240 degrees. Okay. So, we take our voltage here and here, and from here to here, that's good. Now we're going to take voltage from this point to this point. And what happens is we take it from here and like that. So from here, we're going from uh, A to C. We're going to be going from C to A, okay, this way. And on this side here, we're going to take our voltage from B to A. So it's going to, it's going to be, the voltage is going to be in this direction here. Now, these two vectors add up like this. And this forms a vector right here with our voltage up here at uh, this is going to be at 120 degrees. So we have our 0, 120, and 240 degrees. So we still have our, our three phases. And uh, so we still we can still operate our three-phase power off of this, uh, this system like this. Now, you would think by losing one of, one of the transformers, you'll uh, just the wattage would go down by a third. But uh, it, it goes down by more than a third because we don't have our our, uh, instead of having our 10 amps here and our 17 amps up here, the line and the phase are the same. So we need to take the, uh, we've multiplied this by 1.73 to get this. So we need to take the reciprocal of the, uh, of the square root of 3 is uh, 57.7 degrees here, or 7%. So our power is going to be down by 57%. Uh, okay. So if you have a, a three-phase transformer, say we're, they're all at uh, 100 VA each, that's 300 VA times 57.7%. So our wattage is going to be 173.2 VA on that one. Or if you, you can do it a different way. If you have two transformers at 100 VA, now we take our to get we take it times the uh, 86.6, and that's just two divided into our um, square root of three here, and that comes out to the same thing. It comes out to 173 VA. So by uh, Eliminating one of the transformers, your uh, your wattage is going to be cut down uh, to 57% uh, uh, of the uh, to total there. Now, what I did here is I have a 24-volt uh, a 24, 24 uh, three-phase power supply, and I'm going to hook it into these uh, these two transformers, and I'm going to see if we can actually get our, our three phases out of there. So here's our, here's our unit here. i got to plug these in. This is a little um, three-phase generator. I can get that in there, and uh, okay. There's our three-phase generator, and I'll turn that on. That's going, and let's see if I can get my my meter in here on AC. 
these 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 are uh, 10 volts to 120 volt transformers there's two of them and let's see what I've got between the phases there I got 114 volts there let me turn it down a little bit so I've got 97 volts between those two phases from this one to this phase I have uh, 85 and from this one to this one I have 84 and uh, be the, these two again I have uh, nine, uh, 98 or so they're it's not balanced these two transformers are they're both 10 volts to 120 volts but uh, they're different sizes they're a little different load on there but uh, you can see I'm still getting my my three phase out of there and uh, I can crank this up and get get a uh, I got 124 volts coming out and uh, so uh, that's it for uh, turn that off that's uh, our um, open delta transformer and uh, seems to work fine and uh, the power company does it once in a while when they have one burnt up they can uh, take one out of the service and uh, still have some uh, power of course you're you're going to have uh, you have to reduce the uh, the load by uh, 57 down to 57 percent but anyway that's uh open delta transformer thank you